Welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. From Zero FXP, let's show you how to use a normal budget Raspberry Pi Zero, Zero Two version. This is because it's faster, and ID Fifty Two, and to get onto all the reflectors without having to buy uh, these days um, quite an expensive hotspot. So go to PyStar. You're going to need your image. So click the bottom one here. It's under Downloads here. Click the bottom one. You'll get a zip here. Within that zip is your image file. Then use something like Bellina Etcher to flash it. So download that for free. Bellina, I'll put the link in. And when it opens, it looks like this is closed. That's a previous one. It looks like this. So you click Flash from File. Double click here, and it will select that image. Then it then select your SD micro SD card that should look something like this. Let's go back. You can find it as well by going right click on your this little yellow file, and then look it shows here boot e because I've already done it. It probably won't be a boot. Now make sure you've in, initially formatted that using something a free SD card formatter. You can right click it. And click format right click format and it should be successful when you do that so then we've selected the image and then we're going to select the card that's plugged into our PC you'll know which one it'll be the small one like 16 GB and better better to use one that's class 10 um, so you just select there and then flash and when it's when it flashes it will go all the way through I'm not going to do it because it will overwrite my one all the way through and at the end it will say successful if there's no problems uh, once you've done that, you may as well get your Wi-Fi on there. So if you want Wi-Fi builder, again, link in the description. It basically puts in the username and password of your router. So let's just say mine is, say, John for the user. And the password is Jojo. These are just random selections. Click Submit, and you'll have this WPA supplicant appear here. Now that, I would click the arrow and go Show in Folder, like so. Not so much stuff on my PC. Give it a sec to actually show WPA. There you are. Look, and the, you know you could just drag it down to boot here, boot E, the one you've just made, or you could right click, copy it, then click boot. Then right that this is the the PyStar software, and then right click above boot, and then click paste, and that will drop that in there. Right, now put the SD card into your uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. So it's very important that the cable that goes to the radio is the second one in it. It's the lower cable. And that's just micro USB to micro USB. You can get an adapter, but these cables are like £2.50 on uh, you know the usual sellers. So micro USB here. This is a Pi Zero 2. And it goes round to the radio in the micro USB. The other one is just used for power. I've got it into my laptop at the moment, but you just basically need five volts of power just to power this Raspberry Pi. This is not a hotspot. This is just a cheap Pi Zero to 15 pound when you can eventually get them. You've probably got a normal Pi Zero lying around. That will do the same job. It just be slower, and then your then your your connections are correct. So to edit the rules in your Raspberry Pi Zero, you first go, well, just to show you here, you need to select the two blue dots here, because normally you, you'd have probably have probably that one there, MMDVM host there, and the simplex. So you don't want that, you want to select it here, two blue dots, and apply changes, make sure you've got your, your core sign in, apply changes, and then give it a reboot, so you can just go power, and, and then click reboot okay then when it comes back on back into configuration you find your IP address and go into configuration then now expert you're going to select here SSH so click that and first thing you're going to do is put in R or oh, pi star of course login so pi dash star or lowercase flat line in the middle and then ROS Berry, R A S P B E R R Y, Raspberry. You don't see that going, but it goes on. Now you want to make it rewritable, so you go R P I, 
uh, dash R W enter then type S U D O space B A S H so pseudo bash enter now you're going to type nano n a n o space e t c actually go back i made a mistake a, sl a, a slanted line first then e t c slash then u d e v slash rules there you go dot d one zero zero. No, we need to put a slash there. So it's rules dot d. Then a slash. Then one hundred. One zero zero. Flat line in the middle. Then pi star with no gap. Lowercase. Dot rules. When you hit enter, you enter this section here, which is where you add and change rules. Now, I've already added the rules for my, you know, for my Icon 52. So the way you're going to do it is in the description of this video, you're going to see some text and you're going to copy it. You're going to copy it. Um, and when you copy it, so let me just see if I can do it. Go here. Yeah, I've still got it here. So look. We're going to copy it. And thanks very much to Zach Dixon, A-D-O-H-T, who sent me these details. So copy like so. I'm going to go copy. Yeah. And then you're going to go right-click here. Go to paste from browser. You're going to click the box, this box here. Now you're going to right-click and paste. Yeah. And when you click OK, it's going to put it here. I'm not going to do it now because I've already done it. It's going to put it here. You won't probably, you probably, when it does it, you probably won't see all of it. It might look a bit different than what you've pasted, but don't worry about that. Then click Control, hold down your finger on Control and click X. Yeah, and it's going to, it's going to prompt you with a yes or no. And all you do is go Y for yes, click Y for yes, and then hit Enter, and then it will, it will save it. It will save it. And then just type exit, E X I T, enter. And that's it, and you're done. So now, when you go back to configuration page, so we'll leave that, what's going to happen? Of course, your radio needs to already be in terminal mode, and these two blue dots selected, as I've said. When you do the drop down list, yeah, it will say at the very top, icon radio in terminal mode. If it doesn't, you've done something wrong. wrong. Send me a message. Go through your settings. Obviously, sometimes having a bad cable will do it. Remember, the cable between your radio is a micro USB um, to the the micro USB on the Raspberry Pi. So we'll move on to the, the the next part now. To get your radio in terminal mode, you literally just go menu, go to DV gateway. That's normal mode. So start again from the beginning. Go menu. DV gateway, you're now in terminal mode. From Zero FXP, let's show you how to use a normal budget Raspberry Pi Zero, Zero Two version. This is because it's faster. And ID52 and to get onto all the reflectors without having to buy, uh, these days, uh, quite an expensive hotspot. That I picked up from Ham Radio Outlet. We also have a very good D-Star repeater here in Tampa. I, I mean very good, RF-wise. The internet on it is a little spotty, so we generally use it locally in Tampa. Um, you know, it just has a little spotty. Uh, back to you. So let's look at our Pi Star. So you need to find that. So you can use a scanner. You've got advanced IP scanner, and you've got another one called Fing. F I N G. I just use my home router. Find it in the list here. It is here 192.168.0.105. So when you when I put that in, I get to my dashboard here, and then when you go to config, it might ask for your password. But this is what mine's looking like. If I just key for repeater information on the radio. It'll just 
Charlie. It's telling us what we're linked to. And uh, so let's have a look. Yeah, and we're gonna. I'll just show you config. Put pi, the password is pi star, um, and then raspberry pi star with a flat line in the middle. Ignore the frequencies because we're using wires. Uh, but this one is important. Icon radio in terminal mode. That's the one that really matters. And here you can tell it what to boot up in. So we, we've selected one Charlie for now. And dashboard here. So let's move it to. I want to move it. See if I can get it onto Hubnet, which is DCS. We say here D digital here. Digital D star. Hubnet's a very friendly group of hams. DCS four seven seven. It's B. And there's even a dashboard there. So we'll go back looking at the radio now. We're not showing up yet. I'm not sure if we will, but let's try it. So with the radio now, you can select. Obviously, you need to still be in terminal mode. I just remind you how to get into terminal mode. Let's go menu, DV gateway, and then just select that, and, and it will say terminal mode, and select that. Back out, pushing the CD button or the VFO button. Then the top half, select reflector, uh, link to reflector, and then let's go direct input, and this time we'll select DCS. There you go. Move along with the LO button, and it was 477B, which is quite high. <laughs> So let's get to that, 477, it'll be BL, but it's B really, 47, L for link. So 477, and then move along with the low, change that to a B and select enter. Right, and then when we key the mic now, if we try and make this show both, we'll show the, the dashboard and move that across like so. And my Pi Star. Quite a lot of information here. Right, there's a dashboard. And I don't even know if it will show up, but now we're going to click key the microphone to make it connect. You don't really have to talk. M0FXB connect. Link to Hubnet. Hubnet connect. Link to DCS477B. Right, normally activity, but it's early here, it's about half 8am. So now, see where the, the, the blue here, select the middle section again and go to uh, use reflector. So go to reflector and then use reflector, otherwise no one's going to hear you. Right, so now we're all connected by, there's no hotspot, it's just my Raspberry Pi Zero again. There are, someone's there, uh, with the two cables. And then we're going to key up and ask for an audio check. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for a contact on Hubnet. So we're on DCS 477B. Right. Should we ask for an audio check then? Mexico Zero, call Yankee Oscar. M0 FXB, yeah, how are you receiving me? Name's Andreas, Southwest UK. M0 FXB. So we're on Hubnet now, and we are showing up on the on the dashboard of the Hubnet as well, look. Yeah, good morning to you, Andreas. Yeah, 100% no problems at all. Uh, yeah, uh, we need yeah, 100%, as I say. Uh, just coming through the network radio via a PECO link up at the minute. Um, have you received me OK? But yeah, no problems at all. M0GYO in Canic uh, operating on Darren. Yeah, hi Darren. Yeah, hope you're well. Just testing at ICOM 52. I've got a Raspberry Pi connected to it via terminal mode, so there's no hotspot. It's just the Raspberry Pi computer, and then it's using terminal mode to get onto DCS 477B via D Star. Uh, you're sounding good, but Equilink's working well for you. Back to you, I'm in Western Supermare. So there you are, we're on DCS. Now we could change to XRF, XLX, uh, DCS, or a normal reflector, so that's good. And don't forget, these, these are under £20. 
uh, I can't remember for the last of the password to log into it. Your password book has got damaged. I can remember most of all the passwords apart from the... Uh, and the cable is a couple of pound, micro to USB to micro USB. Uh, 7-3, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, no, Catch yeah, you on air.